just cruising through the Blacksburg just out of uh, Hillsville. Already seeing a little bit of white stuff on the ferns, which is fairly unusual at this altitude. So it's definitely very cold. and being a bit of precipitation, so it could be uh, blizzard conditions up the hill and we're not too sure how far we'll get because that is very white down here. So we just passed over the top Mount Dom Dom and uh, just a very light amount of snow, probably uh, less than 10 mil I'd say. Keep people around having a look. Most snow I've ever seen up here, I think it's around about 500 metres. Guys, we're just heading up the road to Marysville. Um, and it is white already, it's actually snowing and um, as you can see a little bit white, not a lot of snow but that is snow. Alright guys, we're just going through um, White Marysville. It is snowing in Marysville which is approximately Oh, that can't be right. That says 425 metres. I'm pretty sure it's higher than that. But anyway, I don't know if that's right or not. Anyway, it is snowing in Marysville. You're looking at it. Okay, guys, so we're on the road between the Lake Mountain turnoff, heading toward, I think it's Camber Hill Junction or something, up the, top, the road up the top from Reefton, where it hits. What's this called? The Marysville Woods Point Road or something? It goes to Warburton as well. Not too sure of the name, it doesn't matter, I just know where it goes. Uh, we've probably got about, I don't know, if it hadn't been driven on it would probably be six inches of snow. Uh, it's been driven on by a few vehicles, not too many around. This is the most snow we've seen down this low before. Um, and I suppose most people watching this in the end will be four-wheel drivers and the like. If you don't have a proper four-wheel drive, and I don't mean a territory all-wheel drive or something, that as soon as you lose traction at one wheel, it just spins and all the drive goes to the spinning wheel. Don't come up into the snow. Um, if you've got a short amount of snow to get to, snow chains would probably work, um, but if you're a regular snow skier, you should probably have a proper four-wheel drive with a diff lock so that you can actually get drive to all of your wheels, or at least most of them. Something with an LSD, centre diff lock at least. Um, and be courteous if you see vehicles behind you that want to travel a little bit faster because you're a bit nervous. That's fine, travel at your own speed, but pull over and let them pass so you're not holding them up because everybody's got different experience and capabilities. Here we go. So these people, what are they building a snowman? Are they doing what are they doing? Mm, stop. He slid off into the side here. Here we go. You want Stopping, pick a good spot to stop, guys. Um, hang on. He needs, he's got his winch on, he's got his. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> there was a couple of cars in front of us that moved left to let an oncoming vehicle passed and um, got stuck on the left had to use their winches to get themselves back out so obviously if you pull over to the left like this you kind of need to be careful how far you go so we might just pull over here and let this other guy pass Camberville Historic Area six inches of snow. You know, to steer around that bend at 25 kilometers an hour. Just watch that bend, a bit slippery at 25 k's. Yeah, prefer yeah, the old traction controls is stuck again. I reckon. Dark ahead. 
a low cloud or something. It's kind of the day. It's clearer than before when it was snowing. Could be a thick sea fog. Yeah, sea fog. Oh, there's that sea fog again. experience and knowledge and whatever together so you know how to handle things you know so knowledge and experience and you can never have too much experience or knowledge it's less than here yeah we're actually, we actually we went up we're going down before we go up again so. Not to get overconfident, could be icy still, whatever.
patches of black tar, but this isn't one of hard to tell. snowplow behind us and the track is completely covered in snow it's a little bit packed down but it's a little bit ripped there on the bend down almost down to the dirt but most of it's packed down I'd say an inch or two thick on the track been driving into the snow getting slowly high for about two hours so far stop snowing at the moment so yeah opportunity so you can actually set out the window and start to defrost a bit. Road or track, whatever you want it to be. Um, it 
this area that I've been on. I'm sure there's times that there's more. For the locals, it's a regular thing. And, um, not that regular. Definitely a lot of snow around down here. At 1180 metres.
Oh, look at the same. It's got bigger tires now. 